welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is Jasmina if you haven't seen my previous vlogs please go check it out so that you will understand how I got here but I basically had a little birthday getaway trip and all of my flights in total have costed up to this point only 69 euros so that's that's a steal for me so anyways this is my final day in Torino and I'm just chilling at the lobby here for a little bit before I go and catch my train to Milano and after a quick 15 to 20 minute walk I made it to the central station and then I got this super big delicious pizza for only five euros it was so good and the reason why I'm going to Milano is because I'm going to be catching a flight the next day from Milano Bergamo airport and you might be thinking oh wow I have a full day in Milan and I'm gonna stay in a hotel well <laughs> no <laughs> no if you know me up till now you know that I do not roll like that I will admit I was about to consider staying in Milano but the problem is is that it's very tricky to get an early bus going to Milano Bergamo Gamma airport and I did not want to spend money on a taxi and I did not want to miss my flight in case the bus would be delayed because it has happened the bus is sometimes delayed I have never ever missed a flight but I did not want to risk that so yeah and I've been to Milan several times already so I've seen I've seen it a lot after I made it to the airport I thought I found a little spot where I could sleep in which I did up until 12 a.m where the airport literally closed down in half meaning you had no access to the restroom and luckily I went to the restroom before they closed down because well I read the reviews and I'm I'm gonna just say this I'm never gonna be sleeping here ever again but it wasn't all bad because I did meet a super nice girl which she also had an early morning flight so we just bonded over that and we were like trying to sleep while protecting our stuff because I'm not gonna lie there were some pretty crazy people around there but yeah anyways <laughs> so the plane was ready for boarding and i was so excited because i've never been to poland before so after a very quick flight i made it to gdansk and i was so happy and look how clever this is if you see this like line like this blue line that i'm following this is gonna lead you to the bus stop and that is so clever because you don't have to go off wondering if you're in the right spot or not so that's just so clever to me and the yellow line guides you to the taxi stop okay so after that i made my way to the old town where my hostel was located in and i was so happy because the location is excellent and the hostel price was only 10 euros a night which is so good and it was super clean like it was so clean perfectly located it was just perfection so i recommend that you go here if you're here in Gdansk. As this is my first day here, I decided to go a bit chill today. So I decided to go to this restaurant that I've heard so much about, so many good things where they make fresh pierogies every single day. So as a starter, I got this delicious tomato soup and it was so warm and good. And you can taste all the vegetables. It was just so perfect, so good for a nice rainy day. And after that, I got the chicken pierogi and it was so delicious it was so moist and fresh and the amount of spice is just perfect and that sauce oh my gosh extremely delicious i'm definitely coming back here again right so after a wonderful lunch which i rate a 10 out of 10 including ambience and food i then made my way to the basilica church and i oh my gosh i was mind blown it was such a beautiful big church and it was just filled with so much beautiful details like you can see on the floor all of the details i did not know exactly what everything meant because it was written in polish and in some some cases they're written in English but I could not really understand but otherwise it just looks super cool it's unlike any other church that I've been to so far so after I explored it I then said my little prayer like I normally do and I really wanted to climb up the church because there are some stairs that you can go and overlook the wonderful city of Gdansk but I think it was closed at this time so but it's okay I would be able to go there the next day or the next time that I'm here in Gdansk which is perfectly fine too So 
So this was my second day here in Poland and it was really good because I had a full day ahead of me so I was really happy too because I actually ended up in one of these newspaper frames which they take free for you so that was pretty good that I had a free souvenir to take home with me and then I went to a drugstore called Rossmann because my mom had asked me to get some more creams for her and I decided you know what I'm gonna get some for me too because not only is it more cheaper here but also is much more better quality here than in Finland because everything in this store in Finland is like triple the price like cat food is has gone up there like crazy so I have to buy cat food from here now because I can no longer afford it in Finland so yeah thanks to inflammation but anyways let's ignore all of that for now <laughs> I then went to H&M and then I went to Primark I believe to check out some pretty cool stuff and then I decided that I wanted to go to this small called forum and oh my gosh have you ever seen such a pretty mall the ambience was so beautiful and if you walk like straight along you will see people reading it's such a relaxing place to be at normally in malls I feel like it's a bit chaotic and loads of people but here it's just right and then I went to a Lego store because oh my gosh it just looks so inviting and then the staffs gave me like some free Lego stickers so yeah I was very very happy about that not gonna lie I then made my way to St. Bridget Church and I was so happy to be here. I've been dying to go here because I really wanted to see that amber altar up close. So I only paid 5 zloty to enter only because you know I'm here mainly for sightseeing but you don't pay if you're gonna be here just for the mass. And then I went like under the church and then I was like oh my god what's that pretty cool until I look very closely and I noticed that those are skulls and I'm like oh my god that's a bit freaky I did not expect that but from this angle you can see sort of like the amber altar it's so beautiful up close and this made me accidentally join the mass because the thing is I wanted to go up close here to take a picture but in my opinion I thought it would be rude if I would go in front of the altar you know and snap a pic while people were praying you know so it just felt wrong and then oh my gosh there was like a babushka at the church and she she noticed that you know i wanted to take a picture so i just stayed during the entire mass and she was so sweet she was speaking polish to me but for whatever reason i understood her i don't know how but i just did and she basically said that she can hold my stuff and i can go you know at the front and take a picture and she was trying to talk to me so oh she was so sweet and after that i decided that i wanted a little snack so i went to this sort of a buffet place and oh my gosh this soup was two euros it was so delicious and so homey like i loved it and it was not too far from my hostel as well after i had a snack i then was walking along the motlava river i just wanted to walk a bit like now while the sun was setting and to just enjoy the views and this was when the bridge was going down again because there was like a ship passing by walk around the city I then decided to get some snacks and then to head back to my hostel and then I saw this and I was like oh my god that's kind of creepy but cool not gonna lie very cool <laughs> 
And then after I got to my room, I just fell asleep and I just forgot to film after that. So the next day was my final day here. So yeah, unfortunately I have a flight later at noon, but I first wanted to grab a few snacks. So I got some uh, pastry here again from the same babushka. And then I got again the same soup that I got yesterday because it was just so good and so tasty. And then I made my way to the bus station and then I arrived to the airport. I just fixed my bags and then sadly I had to go past security check and then I was just admiring this airport and all of these drinks. Like, oh my gosh, this is such a cool airport. Like it was very clean, really good facilities. Got some soplica for the nerves. And unfortunately, it was time for me to board my flight to Turku, Finland, and I was not happy about it. I did not want to be back, but I had to come back because then I had to start focusing on my business again. And yeah, I then arrived in Finland, here in Turku. This is my first time to be in this airport specifically, so I got on a bus. Then I stopped in Hesburger to get my 1 euro and 50 cent burger each. I got like two or three of these, so yeah, that was pretty yum. I then went to the grocery store to get some more snacks for the ride, and then I waited for my next bus, which is bringing me to Tampere. And then in Tampere, I got on a train to go to my final destination and after that I arrived and as per usual the station was closed my mom picked me up and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah I was not happy to be back in this weather but oh well at least the cats were very happy to see me I was so happy to see them I really missed my cats they're my everything and then it was back to work for <laughs> the meantime so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like and enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next vlogs and yeah, see ya, love ya, God bless.